Good day to you. Today, I want to try and uh, do a quick um, INF 2603 um, example. Um, what I want to do is I want to try and help you to get MySQL operating on a Windows 10 computer. Um, so the first objective is to is to get obtain your free copy of MySQL via XAMPP. To install MySQL via XAMPP and also to start MySQL via the XAMPP control panel okay so in order to to do that um, okay yeah, this is this is the link that uh, we would use we're going to go to apachefriends.org um, index HTML and we will go and retrieve our Apache okay from XAMPP. Um, this is sort of a sample of the installation process. We're going to install it on our C drive and the only two products we want is MySQL and Apache. And then I'm also going to show you how to start MySQL via the XAMPP control panel. Alright, so that's what we'll be covering in today. So the first step was to go to um, XAMPP um, which is apachefriends.org you'll see they've got an option here for Windows, for Linux and for Mac OS okay so you can choose your um, variant the, the one we're going to choose is we're going to go for Windows um, and uh, I'm obviously wanting to try and download a 64-bit version because the system that I'm operating on is a 64-bit um, system okay so I wanted to just go to show you the system settings of this um, computer system information as you can see here um, I'm running a 64-bit system and um, it's only got 2 gigs of memory so it might perform a little bit slowly but basically you, you go here to Apache Friends um, you can choose downloads from here and it'll take you back to the same page like this um, let's see oh, there we go, also um, and the version that we want is, I'm happy with the PHP 7.4 or even the 8. So it doesn't matter which one you, you take. I'm going to choose the version 8. I'm okay with that. It's not a matter of, I'm not doing a PHP course here. As you can see, the download starts and it will show up in the bottom corner. It's not going to take too long. Okay, so the download is just finished. Um, you can see there it's scanning for viruses. Um, I'm not going to be too worried about that. Um, so the next step is then to go and find the file. And under Windows, normally it's stored under the downloads folder. So you just open your folder icon, you go to downloads over here, and once it's finished scanning for viruses, then it will change it to a proper exe, and you'll see it with an icon here, like this, yes, there we go, so now we can just double click on it, you should get presented with a screen similar to this, the user account control screen as long as you've got user account control enabled you will be prompted with the screen and all we do is we say yes for our option you'll see a screen that will come up like this stating that um, user accounts controls active and most people have an antivirus so it might also say antivirus I just click on OK over here um, you then get presented with this uh, setup uh, XAMPP wizard.
click on next um, as I mentioned I'm not going to choose all the options um, I don't need Perl, I don't need Tomcat, I don't need Mercury, I don't need FileZilla um, we do need PHP my admin I don't need the webalizer and I don't need the, the fake emails all I want is Apache and MySQL those are the two programs that need it and PHP my admin is the admin for MySQL so that's why you have to install it so you just click on next the default folder is uh, C XAMPP um, if you have a look here I don't have a XAMPP folder on my C drive um, so it will automatically get created um, I'm happy to leave it as the default so I'm just going to click on next um, yes I would like the English language click on next I'm going to deselect the option about learn more about it I think I'm quite happy with that and then I'll click next to install and so now it will start installing I'm going to close these other screens background screen so they don't cause too much of a distraction and um, yeah I'm going to pause the video while it installs uh, and I'll return when the installation is closer to the end Okay, we're slowly getting to the end. Seems to be getting a little bit faster. There we go. And as you can see here, it's saying setup has finished installing XAMPP on your computer. Do you want to start the control panel now? So I would say yes, I want to start it. And then uh, we'll see what happens when it starts. Yeah, and this is what the control panel looks like as you can see because I didn't install the extra the other extra items it's only got this now as you can see also this uh, there's no icon that was created from this so the first thing I'm going to do is go and add an icon and so the way you do that is you go to your C drive you open up your browser let's just go there again okay I'm going to click on this 
I'm going to the C drive, going to the XAMPP, and you'll see there's three um, options here, a XAMPP start, stop, and a control. So we want to copy this control, and we want to send it to our desktop. And now we've got a shortcut icon there, which helps. You'll have to excuse this crashing error, because this is what happens when you close ZAMP down because of user account control. So I just ignore that. Um, what you have to do is you have to start Apache, okay? And you have to start MySQL because they work um, together. Apache allows you to have a local host and then MySQL gives you the actual database. So you click on start over here, okay? And once, um, once you see that um, ah, this might even come up, yeah. Um, and so I just choose both options and I say allow access. So that will allow access for the Apache server, okay. And there should be another one for the MySQL, um, MySQL server. There we go. It's also asking MySQL, I'll allow both. And then I just say allow access. Okay, so once those have um, those screens have gone away, you'll see there's an option here called admin. So you want to click on this admin, and now what admin will do is it'll open up um, a local host PHP my admin, and that will now give us access um, to the database. Okay, there we go. So on the left hand side, on the left hand side here is all the databases. On the top here is your navigation menu. Okay, and then over here is just some more information about your database. So um, what I normally do is I first go to user accounts and create a, um, my own unique user because I don't want to use the root user. Um, or any of the others. So what I would do is I would say add add user account, okay? And then it will take me to the add user screen, all right? And under username, I will type in here INF2603. You can type whatever name you want over there. And then the password, you make up whatever password, whatever password you want. Um, I'm making mine very simple, so as you can see it's complaining, it's a very weak password, and it is very weak. Um, you could also click on generate, and it will generate you a password that you can copy and paste into here. And what you do is you scroll down, and you tick the option that says grant privilege to this user for everything, okay? And then we click on go. So... After that's done, we now have um, a user. You see there, you can see that it's um, that it's created the user. And you can see there's a tick, created user. And um, yeah, the code is, is ready. So if I go back to my user account, you'll see that I've now got this new user. And he has all privileges. And he's got a password. Um, and I can use him on anywhere. So... For this example, I want to just create a, a database. I'm also going to, the database I'm going to create is also just called INF2603. So under here, I'm just going to say INF2603. Okay. And I'm going to call it DB so we don't get confused between the user and the password. You just click on create over here. And there we go says the INF database is created. It should actually take you there and it will ask you if you want to create um, tables. So as you can see here, it's cre um, taken me to a create table. Now, I'm not going to go through this method. Um, in, the, in the next
next video I'm going to teach you how to create tables using the SQL option and why I like uh, using MySQL is because you use this PHP MyAdmin and you can go to SQL and from SQL over here um, where is it? okay it doesn't have any of the information yet but um, you'll see that there will be a couple of options over here where we can say insert select and all of that it'll have all the options for us so we don't have to manually um, type them yeah so let me do that in the next video this video was just uh, um, quick how to get installed with uh, MySQL with XAMPP um, and yeah thank you for watching I hope this video has been helpful all the best with INF2 successfully thanks goodbye